you with another collab video. I am collabing with Luann uh, at It's Always Something Around Here, and we are going to do a sweet and simple tablescape. I already did the tablescape behind me. If you haven't caught that video, then I will put the link down below. It will be in the Countdown for Christmas um, playlist. So, if you are not subscribed to Lu Luann's channel, click on the link below in the description and um, go on over to her channel and check her out. She has a beautiful home. She just redid her bathroom. It looks really nice and um, she did a home tour and me and her have become friends on YouTube. We've been chatting and texting each other and and yeah, so um, go on over to her channel and give her a little love and um, yeah, so now I'm still decorating. And uh, I'm just fritz and fritzing around the house doing it the last couple of days. I'm still not done, so but I finished this breakfast nook tablescape and I did a little whimsical thing, so let me show you. Okay, so this is a little different than I normally have it and stuff. I just thought I would have fun and do something for the kids. I don't know how often they're gonna come over here, but I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. And you know what, I like it too. Uh, I don't care if it's for the kids. So, a couple years ago, I bought these um, plates from Walmart that match my mug. And I'll show you real quick my hot cocoa bar. And so they match the cups from the hot cocoa bar. I just have a little something there, and I got that from Michael's. So, um, so they matched that. But I didn't want to put them on the table because I thought it would be too much. So I already had these mugs. At, in fact... I had these plates and these mugs, and I was thinking of getting rid of them. But then I thought I would pair them with the plates. And if you've seen the bigger plates that I was using as chargers in my dining room. So I'm kind of using it as a charger, even though it's a little bit um, small, but whatever. So they they match. So And I like the deep red color rather than the bright, you know, Christmas red, I guess you would call it. So I just have four settings, and um, apparently there's a cup, a cup missing in real life. I guess we must have used it last night, and I didn't put it back. All right, so these reindeer I have, I thought, were really cute. I got them from Publix. Yes, I got them from Publix. Crazy. I have gotten some cute things over the years from Publix. They just have random stuff every once in a while. And so... I have a place sitting here, and I have a candy cane in there with a mug, and then the same, the same over here. So in the middle of the table is one of those three-tiered um, tray thingies that I got from Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby for, I think they were twenty dollars, and I got on sale one time for um, fifteen dollars. Don't go to Hobby Lobby without a coupon. Download the app, guys. There's always a 40% coupon on the app. So in here, I just have some cute little toys, which I usually put in like a basket for them, but I decided to put it in here. And so there's this cute little, I think it's supposed to be a reindeer. And then I have these little rounds that I was using to make um, ornaments with that I had them left over. So I just put them here and I have a candle and I have one of these, you know, puzzle things that I've had for a really long time. This is a little car. And then over here is a little reindeer where you um, you push it up. You've seen those before. I've had that for a really long time. And then and then this is whoops, he's wanting to fall over. And then this is just a little stuffed animal that I put in there. And then I, I have some more candy canes here and then of course some much needed chocolate chips and there is a succulent there it is one of those from the target dollar spot that was three dollars so it looks like i need to fill this back up i think hubby's been eating them so at the top i just do have some potpourri well not really potpourri it's pine cones and i have some cotton balls and there's some acorns in there and I said in another video, I tend to use some decor for multiple seasons. So I was using the acorns and the pine cones for... Um, so I was using those things for fall and I just use them again for Christmas and just add some other things to it. So, and then I have some more candy canes at the top. These happen to be the um, natural candy canes 
my niece prefers her children to have the natural ones. So I'm not really sure why I put up the other ones. Anyway, that was all I was going to do. Sweet and simple, right? I got a little crazy yesterday. Well, I just added a few more things to the table. Um, or to the, around the table. So, um, I have lots of Christmas books. And I thought, why don't I just display these? And I already had these Christmas tins. And they happen to have snowman. And they go with one of my favorite Christmas books. is Eric Carle. I love Eric Carle books. I collect Eric Carle books. If you don't know, I used to be a preschool teacher for like 20 years. So, I have a huge collection of Eric Carle books. And then this little snowman, build a snowman thing, stacking thing, is a Melissa and Doug. So, I put that little together. And I have a whole bunch of books in the other room. Um, but they were just all piled and you can't see them pretty. And I thought it would be nice to actually display them. So, I have two more tins here. And then I have a little, um, what do you call that? Um... Beanie Baby? Yes, a little Beanie Baby there that I'm not sure where I got that from. And I have If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. Here is another favorite book that I absolutely love. I love this whole series. It's um, started with If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And then I think I have If You Give a Moose a Muffin. It's a whole series of books. Um, if And If You Give a Book. That's what it is by Laura Numeroth. And I uh, if you're looking for a children's book for your kids for Christmas, get that series. It's great, especially this one. And then over here, every year, oh, I almost forgot about that. I won't say every year, but um, several years in a row, I have given my husband like a funny book uh, for Christmas. And this was one of the books that I gave him. Um, I think I gave him Grinch Stole Christmas one year and... Um, a couple of the different ones and what I meant by is oh, I forgot about this We're not really giving each other presents, but I think I need to get him a book. Yeah So I thought that was cute and I just thought it kind of matched the red and the green match these two tins So I put these put these two tins here Okay, so that's it for my sweet and simple tablescape. I think it's cute. I think it's whimsical and again go on over to Luann's channel and check her out I don't like the lighting here. Anyway, so I was trying to find some lighting, but if I stand over there, you're getting blinded because of the window. Anyway, so um, and if I turn the other way, real life, it's messy. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. Anyway, so I still have some more decorating to do, so keep watching Countdown for Christmas and um, go on over to Luann's channel. She's not really doing Countdown for Christmas, but she's been doing quite a few videos for Christmas. So go on over her to her channel and push that subscribe button so you don't miss another video of my channel and her channel. And bye guys. Enjoy your Christmas.